What's up guys? It's your boy Brian here, back with another episode of Bit of Bago. Today's drink, Leinenkugel Summer Shandy. I know nothing about this beer, except that it is very popular in the spring and summertime. I always see it on the shelves. Sometimes I hear people talking about it, but I have never tried it myself. Today, that changes. Made in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, it is one state away from the coolest state of them all, Minnesota. It's a Weiss beer brewed with honey and a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, should be a unique experience. I don't know if I've done a Weiss yet. Let's go get our glass. I didn't expect it to be a twist off. So it's got a really strong yellow, uh, like a yellow light orange color to it. And it, uh, right out of the bottle, it really smells like lemon. I like it. It's a citrusy kind of smell right off the bat, which I enjoy. Also still kind of smells like beer, a tad bit. I don't know what to expect at all. Typically most sour beers that I've tried, I've not really been a fan. And uh, I'm worried that this could be a sour since it's got lemon in it, but we'll see. Bottoms up. You know, it's a little bit sour, but it's almost like they kind of, it's not sour enough. I can taste the lemon, but there's not a whole lot of like the bite of a lemon, so to speak. Almost like it was, they're going a little bit too safe with it, but uh, it's, it's still pretty tasty. I can see why it would be such a popular beer. It just occurred to me that this is going to go up on Easter and I'm drinking a summer shandy. Breaking some kind of law, right? I mean, Easter is supposed to be a spring thing, right? You know, I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's probably my favorite sour beer so far, but I don't think they intended to make it a sour beer. Just kind of a, a Weiss with a strong taste of lemon in it. Am I misspelling Weiss? Oh, Weiss means white or wheat. It either means white or wheat. My German's not that good. But I guess typically a Weiss beer is made from uh, top fermented wheat. So it's basically like a wheat beer. Time to give this bad boy a rating. One last sip a Rooney to rule them all. You know, I'm gonna have to give it like a seven, but I don't know, maybe even like a 6.7. Hello there, this is Brian's editor, Brian. Uh, I was asked to come in here and change the rating from a 6.7 to a 7.2. He said that 6.7 was a little bit too harsh. Uh, thank you and back to the video. There's some things I like about it, but I think its problem is it doesn't commit very much to to any real flavor. It's got a whole assortment of flavors in there because it's kind of like a beer and you can kind of taste that it's not really hoppy, but it's uh, it's got like a hint of lemon. It, maybe if it was more than just a hint of lemon, I might rate it higher. It just feels like it's kind of... It's all over the place. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's all right, Lightning Kugel. I'll still drink you. I like you anyways. All right, that's gonna have to do it. I think I covered all my bases. Uh, if you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Go drink some beer. Have a good Easter. And of course, take care of yourselves. Until next time. Oh, you're still watching? Well, lucky you. Bonus, review. Here in front of me, I have a classic combination of grilled cheese and minestrone. Some people prefer tomato soup. I'm not that basic. I also like to add a little spice to my soup. So I have uh, Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce. 
The heat scale on this just says insane. I mean, it is Dave's insanity. But if I'm not mistaken, the Scoville rating on this is about 140,000, which uh, let's say a jalapeno is about 12,000. So I like to add just one drop because any more than one drop will probably make you sad. One drop, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, grilled cheese is pretty good, eh? I like grilled cheese, eh? It's pretty good. Minestrone was first made by Fred Minestrone back in the 1800s, I believe, when he took a bunch of vegetables from his garden and blended them together until uh, they looked like soup. That's pretty good. <coughs> Might be a little too spicy. It was a big drop. What have I done to myself? It's so good I can't stop. <coughs> a truly a classic combination. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't make this minestrone. Not that cool. It's just progressive. But progressive is good. You know, I know I've had my fair share of minestrones, and I would actually say progressive is one of the better ones. If you enjoy minestrone, go get you some. Whatever, I'm not gonna do a second outro. Bye!